So, how's it going guys? Shit here, back for another video, and today I give you an update on uh, the Goblin list. Um, so, apparently, um, when I was overlooking at um, targets for Emergency Teleport, since Emergency Teleport is crazy in any, any deck that needs level 3 extenders, um, I remember that the Punk cards existed, and so... Um, I, I was changing a bit the deck, uh, and we now have like 10 one card combos out of 40 cards in our main deck. Uh, and all of these one card combos do not um, get in, uh, like, if you draw multiple of them, it's okay because. They don't all require your normal summon, like for Torguide you require your normal summon, but for example Terror Top doesn't care about normal summoning. Um, and now that uh, with the punks we can make um, Emergency Teleport, another one card combo, we basically have around 5 normal summons, one card combos, and uh, about other five one card combos that don't use your normal summon so uh if you draw into multiple of them it's fine um what it means is that you can either extend further further your plays or you can just play around nibiru by isolating yourself using one of the starters uh to go into gossip before you go into your um your normal combos so, yeah, I was really, really messing around with uh, the deck because uh, now we, that, since we can have multiple one card combos and many of them do not use your normal summon uh, to start, that means that we can play multiple one card combos that can also serve as extensions if we get stopped. So, our one card combos, extra normal one card combos, also makes it so that our deck, even if we draw engine, we can go into interruptions and uh, still make boards. We can uh, push into second with more gas without needing as much non-engine. So uh, yeah, I really, really like this uh, punk engine right here. Um, so I've got three uh, new combos for you guys and let's start it. So. Um, let's start with the line where you normal summon the Amen. It's not as good as starting with uh, emergency teleport uh, because wasting your normal summon on the Amen, uh makes it so you lose one interaction in your uh, normal board. Uh, the emergency teleport uh, one card combo makes like six disruptions. So if you normal summon the Amen, it's just five like the normal normal uh, combos and you have to uh, sequence it uh, a bit better on your opponent's turn uh, but yeah let's just showcase it so uh, you can see what i'm talking about so we start with the Amen, we need a random discard for him um, so we go normal summon and use this effect pay 600 life points and get foxy tune and now we can activate foxy tune to discard and then on resolution send another one from our hand and special summon another punk from the deck so here are two level threes, and we can also, if we pl if you play Mad Madam Spider, we can search for the trap, which is basically just Imperm. Uh, it doesn't require you to uh, control a punk monster or anything. It has a, a, a bonus, which is quite nice to like gain LP if uh, you control a punk, but it does not need a punk to resolve. So that is really really nice. Um, so next we overlay for Big Head Gabonga, which is going to get dug, and in from here it's just normal combos, we just use its effect, detach one, norm, uh, special, use dug to get the grand arrival, and arrival gets Mianda, detaches one, and special summons the Mianda. We can now go into carry, and right here in these lines, you need to go for carry. And we just go for gold pride. 
uh, better luck next time. We detach one from Mianda so that now it has zero materials. So we can go into Armor Fortress and search for one. And since he now has zero materials, which is why it's important that we have Mianda in circulation, we can go into Full Armor Dark Knight Lancer. We now use um, the Continuous spell to search for carry, and we need to pay more life points. Um, and yeah, now we can just go carry, special, and link to into IP, and set to. End phase, we use the Gabonga to attach the cluster, the noisy, which we were missing. Uh, and yeah, uh, the reason um, for us needing to sequence is uh, better uh, for your opponent's turn and losing an extra disruption is that um, Clutter, the noisy, uh, is the one that special summons from the graveyard as a quick effect. So if you do not have max speed in your hand, uh, you're gonna need to like high P uh, with Gabonga. So we lose the Gabonga attach. So this is only five disruptions. When um, if you don't don't use your normal summon for this combo, uh, you get to six. And I'll sh I'll show how you do that. Um, but yeah, now we go to your opponent's turn and. For sequencing, you need to start with IP so that you can get clutter, and clutter can um, get two bodies so that you can use full armor dexes so that you can uh, use its graveyard effect to uh, use dark cleanser. So that's the only problem with this combo is that if for some reason you don't get to send Gabonga to your graveyard, uh, the only interruption you keep is a trap. That you searched. Uh, but yeah, so now we go for IP and we use this two and we go for SP. And you SP has two interruptions, so that's two interruptions. And now we can use whenever we want the clutter to summon, and on summon, this spell summons back to Doug, and Doug is gonna get another arrival for follow-up. Now we can use the trap and we can go for Cicada King for another disruption. And now, since the trap is now on the graveyard, we can go for the Xyz armor and equip and attach something from your opponents. And you also have the Cicada disruption and you have the trap. So this is five disruptions with follow-up because it searches you the grand arrival at the end of the uh, turn. And you basically have everything in your graveyard uh, besides the Meander and the, the max speed. Um, but you can just get them in circulation uh, with Gabonga next turn. Uh, but yeah, this is the combo uh, for for uh, one Ziamen plus this card. Now, this is a better combo. It's the Emergency Teleport plus Imperm. Uh, Imperm no, it's just a discard. Uh, you would just go in um, Emergency for Ziamen and you use its effect to pay life points and get Foxy Tune. And Foxy Tune is going to special summon another, so you do not use your normal summon for this. And you go Spider, get the trap, overlaying to Gabonga, and Gabonga gets the Dug. Dug effect as usual, it's just plain normal combos from here. Get Arrival, Arrival is going to search and special. This time, uh, since we have not used your normal summon, you can go directly into Clutter the Noisy, and that's why we can keep. The six disruptions. So yeah, we get clutter with zero effect. And we go here. And actually, you did not need to go for a chariot, to be honest, right here. Uh, you could just um, go for the draw. Uh, I just did it here because I was just uh, focused on sequencing. But since we got clutter and clutter special summons from the graveyard, uh, you don't need actually this gold pride, so you can keep it in deck and just go for the draw, which might give you a non-engine. Uh, so yeah, you can do that. Uh, for some reason I did not, yeah, because I added the, uh, yeah. Uh, but yeah, you don't need to uh, search here for this. I I did it because I was just trying to get this out uh, quick for you guys, but yeah. Uh, you don't need to go into carry, you can go into the torpedo, torpedo draw one. 
and then you go for the rank five, rank five surges, and then you will go into the seven, and the, with the seven on the field, you can uh, arrival add back noisy, and then you can normal summon noisy, and noisy special summons back Doug. So yeah, you still get to the full board uh, without going through the uh, better luck next time. Okay, you get the full armor. You go into the seven, and here we just went and went for the same line as always. And this is the same thing as always. Uh, it's, this is the normal combo from the uh, the last uh, video, except that since you play the um, the punks, you can search the extra trap, which is nice. In the end phase, you just get max speed. And this is just the, like the normal board. And now, whenever you want, you can clutter, special, and special Doug, and Doug gets you follow up. Now you can full armor, so that full armor is live in the graveyard for the um, Dark Knight Lancer. So, and you have a Sika the King on the board already. So now, right here, whenever you want to attach a monster from your opponents, you go max speed, get rid of Fortress, special summon, and Gabonga activates to attach something. And you can, of course, whenever you want, use Sika the King to negate. Um, then you can, of course, use IP with max speed, which is right really nice because we can keep Gabonga, and Gabonga is going to trigger in these end phases again to get another goblin from the deck, which can be really, really nice. So you just get SP here, SP for a double disruption. And you get the attach as well there, and you still have the trap for your six disruptions. And now, as I spoke, all the one card combos that we have in the deck do not interfere with each other. So if you draw any um, combination of Tour Guide, Terror Top, and Teleport, you can play True Nibiru if you draw two uh, out of three of them, or if you draw any of these one card combos plus two extenders. Uh, so yeah, even if you draw Ziamen and Teleport, as long as you have another extender, you can still go full combo plus uh, play around the bureau. Uh, so yeah, I'll show you uh, how to play around the bureau. It's basically the same thing. You just go Terror Top for Takatombor and Takatombor specials, and you can go for Gossip, which can negate the bureau. And instead, we both draw one card. And then, yeah, we just go for the normal line, since we don't use your normal summon with this, um, to just go for the normal line we just did for six disruptions. So yeah, this just turns into uh, seven disruptions and playing around Nibiru, which is really nice. Just, just the normal combo here. Uh, once again, as I said, you don't need uh, the gold pride in these lines. Um, it is really good for lines like the first one when you, it's kind of awkward and you're missing a level three, uh, but yeah. If you get to use your normal summon, uh, oh yeah, and face Gabonga. If you get to go through clutter, you do not need uh, the gold pride most times. Uh, but if you don't uh, get to go through them to finish your board, you are going to need the gold pride, uh, which is why it's here. But yeah, full board all around the bureau because gossip is like our third summon. And it can just negate Nibiru, which is nice. Okay, so into the decklist. This is a decklist right now. Clean 40. Uh, I was experimenting with 12 non-engine, but I like 10. 10 is more than enough. And the room for called by, you can just side it out for something like talents or something. It's just uh, the one flex spot I like called by. Because this deck loses hard to draw as well. Um, so yeah. Uh, we just have triple tour guide with no extra brick because we can just go directly for Mianda. So it's a, a, one of our one card combos. Then we have another one card combo on double terror top, one Taka Tomborg. Uh, of course, if it goes up to three, you can play three and two, maybe? I don't know. I like two and one, uh, actually. I Even if it goes to three, I might not consider bumping this to three uh, because uh, after your first... Uh, 
um, a use of Turtop. It's kind of like dead. It it turns only into like a Fenrir where it just special summons itself for free, you know. Um, uh, so yeah, I like the two and one ratio. Uh, then we have uh, double Z. I mean, uh, I like two uh, because of course uh, you don't really want mostly to draw into him, but it's okay if you do. Uh, it's still full combo. You could probably play one copy, actually. Uh, but I like two. Two is a nice uh, ratio. Uh, it makes it so we have ten one-card combos with three Emergency, two Ziamen, two Terror Top, and three Torguide. Uh, so yeah, two Ziamen, uh, the one Spider, uh, because it's the other level three, and uh, of course you could just play double Ziamen and for uh, Foxy Tune get the Ziamen, but I feel like the cool part about teleport is that it also gives you a 6 disruption and whenever you have to go into the Amen, the fact that you can search the trap uh, gets you a 5th disruption to make up for the, for the the Gabonga that you cannot trigger in that line um, I like the playing spider plus trap uh, in conjunction with it uh, even if you join to it it's like an imperm. Uh, okay, it's gonna hurt going second, but uh, you know that's just unlucky. If you go second, you can just side it out really, really easily. Um, but yeah, this this uh, is actually nice, uh, especially since it it's not uh, one of those traps that requires uh, to use something from the archetype. Even drawing it, it's just good by itself. Like if you are drawing an imperm. So that's why I really like this package and then we just have one tracker one wielder for our extenders there are, are more psychics for the emergency teleport and they're really really good in hand as well because they're just three level three three level three bodies uh then triple emergency teleport because it's the best card in our deck um double dug i like two because it makes it so uh it can give nice follow-up and just search for uh um, for arrival during uh, your opponent's turn, and then uh, you could probably do some cool stuff like arrival for Doug, uh, and Doug gets you a meeting, with, which is like uh, an extra normal summon. So if you have something, another Goblin Rider stuck in your hand, you now have uh, an, an extra normal summon for it, and it's more bodies on field. So I like to, especially because drawing it in your hand is fine, especially if it's uh with an uh, arrival as well uh then to meander because um with your normal combos you um you need the second one in rotation uh you need a second one because you lose the first one in your com in a combo because uh, in the combo for ip uh you it just gets banished so you need the second one in rotation because uh, it's the only one that special summons from the graveyard special summons itself from the graveyard during your turn I like the second one, and even as a normal summon, if it's paired up with, for example, a Grand Arrival, or a Duck, or really any uh, Goblin Rider, it's okay, because it just special summons the other from your hand, so it's two level 3 bodies. And then we have one each of Max Speed and Clutter, because they are just the one in one bricks. You do not want them in your hand at all, they are just combo, um, needed for the combo, so I like one and one. Uh, then triple arrival, because this is just rota, and of course, uh, it, it also special some, basically, emergency teleport for uh, Goblin Riders, if you went through uh, the Gabonga line, uh, the, G the Gabonga, because it just detaches and special summons. It's also just emergency teleport against Pearly and extremely broken. Uh, because, yeah, this deck really ha uh, shits on uh, Pearly. Really, really nice because it's just detach, detach, detach. Uh, really, really good. I like it. Uh, so, triple arrival is a consistency card. I like it. Uh, you most times during your normal combo, you go to through two because you get one during your turn and then you get the second one for follow up. So, uh, if you have to grind out a bit, I feel like the third would be nice. Otherwise, you could just cut it down to two and maybe get another uh, of the the psychic um, extenders. 
uh, then you just have one uh, meeting because it is actually necessary if you open Grand Arrival plus Doug, you need the meeting in the deck to be able to actually combo off. Um, so yeah, meeting is extremely necessary. And yeah, we just have the Full Armor of is next because uh, you need it for your combo. Uh, you could probably scythe uh, the Armor of Xyz, the spell. Uh, I just feel like Having two bricks when the spell is only good for like Queen Second is kind of irrelevant. I I just don't feel like I, I really should run the second brick uh, just because it could be nice if you lose the dice. Uh, I, I rather have it in my side deck and side it in. Um, then you have the gold pride package which is just one better luck, one carry, one Leon. And uh, we play both carry and Leon because it makes it so if we draw into carry or if we draw into Leon, uh, it makes so the gold pride uh, just um, not only makes it the better luck next time live and you need it to be live because you need a life point difference to special summon the gold prides. Uh, so if you don't go through your punks, uh, you need uh, to go through uh, the better luck next time. So it not only makes it so uh, your gold prize are live, it makes it so uh, that um, they combo off with e each other. Because uh, Leon, when he summons himself, he also um, gets another level 3. So, at least you get another body uh, to probably just push in, which is really nice. Uh, so yeah, gold, uh, the better luck next time works out really, really well with both, uh, having both in the deck. And then we just have 10 slots, which is what, what I like uh, for non-engine. So I just put in triple Ash, triple Imperm, triple Droll, and one call by. Uh, there's not much thought into it, you can just play whatever non-engine you want. Uh, I just like running the 10, and I like this personally right now. Uh, going into our X, we have double Gabonga because it's necessary. You go through it in your combos all the time. I do not think the third one uh, is necessary at all, uh, but I do uh, like adding the second one for follow-up uh, if it leaves the field when you go first. So yeah, double Gabonga. Uh, then we have the one Gossip Shadow to go around the Nibiru. We have the one Cicada King to make during your opponent's turn for an extra disruption. You have the one carry for those awkward lines where we are missing another level 3 uh, for our combos. Uh, one Phantom Knights of Breaksword because this actually is quite nice with um, our uh, both our continuous spells uh, to just go in for uh, like uh, the just removal, uh, you know, with meeting and better luck next time, uh, you can just uh, destroy those and get rid of another card. So I, I like that a lot. And since you know, better luck is accessible through our extra deck, it is quite nice. Uh, then we have one fortune tune for uh, Zeus, we have one torpedo, one fortress for um the full armor line. Uh, we have one crystal zero because it's actually is really, really nice going second. Uh, it forces out always something because uh, after you search your full armor, uh, you can just put this on top and force, uh, forcefully, uh, forcefully uh, try to get some interactions from your opponent because it just negates everything, uh, every monster in your opponent, uh, on your opponent's field, right? Yeah, it negates the effects of all face-up monsters your opponent controls at, until the end of the turn, which is nice, and you can just, you don't lose anything. Uh, you can just um, add it to your normal line and just put it on top of Fortress and then put Dark Knight in, on top of him, which is really, really nice. So it does not deviate from your lines to go into him, and it's really, really good to go and finish off or at least try to finish off. Uh, and then we have the one Dark Knight because it's part of your uh, combo. A really, really nice monster. I like it a lot. 
Uh, then we have one Zeus, one Typhon for going second, obviously. And we have one IP, one SP for uh, the combo lines. If you don't want to go into SP, you could just do Unicorn and it's just you lose one disruption. Or you can find another uh, rank 3 a monster that you could use a disruption and you have another slot for uh, maybe something for going second. Uh, another utility box, maybe. So, yeah. That's going to be it from today. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, comment down below if you have any suggestions or questions for me. Subscribe never miss any of my future videos. And that's it. I'm going to see you next time.